Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 12th video as part of our power of reporting in Tally Prime. And this is the third part related to stock summary technique. In this video, we will explore a couple of more buttons on the right hand side button bar and try and understand how we can leverage these features for better grip over our inventory items. Let us go to tally and explore the wonderful techniques of stock summary. In the last session, we explored these options under right side button bar. So today we will just check a couple of more options and see in what other way we can have the information related to our inventories. So let us check on this option of basis of value. When you click on basis of value, we are going to get this list of configuration where in the last session we understood the stock valuation method. The current stock position again, if you notice here, when you press enter here, these options were available under our order button bar also. So in the previous session, we saw purchase order outstanding, sale order outstanding. We also saw the net stock which considers the stock in hand plus the pending purchase order and also minus the pending sales order. Since we have experienced this, we will leave this at stock in hand. The next option that you have is the go down type. So from the stock summary, we can select a specific go down once the organization creates multiple go down. So let us see what are the options that are available under the go down type. So by default, it says our stock with us and third party. Tally has another inventory feature, which is the job work module, where the principal company can send material to the job worker for processing and they can keep track of the material that has been delivered to the job worker. Since that material belongs to the company, the value of that stock should be added to the existing closing stock value. So this option gives you our stock with us and the third party. So third party basically in the job work module, you will create a separate go down called job worker go down and you will track the material that has been supplied to the job worker. Now in the upcoming session, I will also cover the module of job work and we will learn how you can leverage this wonderful feature of job work in tally prime so when you select the go down type we have all these options that you can filter it all type is basically it is going to give you all type of stock that you are holding as on date the next option if you see it says our stock and third party stock with us which is i had mentioned about the job work module in tally so now as a principal company will issue material to the job worker and keep track of the material that has been issued to the job worker. Now take the other side of it. Let us say this company is a job worker and the job worker is going to receive material from various principal companies. So now if they want to see what is the total stock that is lying with them, including their own stock by selecting this option, Tally is going to show the company stock from a job worker's company's point of view and also it will give the detail or the value including their own stock which is the third party stock which the job worker is holding which normally the job worker is going to process that material or manufacture the finished goods and has to return it back to the principal company. The next option is our stock with third party. While viewing the stock summary, see ideally you can go to each of the go down and view the stock value that is lying in each of the go down. So the technique that we are using here is that from the stock summary, which gives the total stock that the organization is holding as on date. And with that information, you can use this type of value by selecting the go down type with the behavior of the inventory in those go downs. So the next option that we are seeing here 
is it says our stock with third party so from the stock summary you can quickly filter and find out what is the total quantity and value of stock that is lying with the third party our stock with us is basically again is to show the stock which is physically lying with the company not considering the stock that has been given to the job worker or the third party the next option this is the default option that we saw our stock with us and third party so this will include the actual physical stock lying in the company plus the stock that has been issued to the job worker the total of the stock which is actually the closing stock value the company holds the last option here is third party stock with us now as a job worker the job worker is going to have inventories holding of the principal company which will not form part of their inventory valuation from a job worker's company's point of view now from their stock summary as a job worker company if they want to see what is the total value of inventory that they are holding which does not belong to them whereas it belongs to their principal companies so we can select any of this and then you can analyze the data let us go back the scale factor we have already seen in our balance sheet the next one is change view we are viewing the stock summary closing balance as on date so when we click on change view there are other analysis that you can do with your inventory currently if you notice that we have used the item wise button and we are viewing the inventory item wise so if you want to view stock group wise all you have to do is just click on stock group wise and automatically this will convert into stock group wise at the top level again when you come here to change view you will see this stock item wise now this button is also available here you will see here stock item wise click here it converts into stock item wise not displaying the group name and all the items are going to get listed in alphabetical order now this button is toggled back to stock group wise when you click on stock group wise this is what you are going to see here stock item wise we change this now change view the next option the related report that you can view from the stock summary is monthly summary which again we saw the monthly summary in our previous thing so like i had mentioned there are multiple ways to access an information minimum there are two to three ways that you can access any information that you are looking for in tally so you have to quickly identify the fastest way that you can achieve your objective of getting the intended report the next one is the moment analysis the moment analysis is basically going to give you a report of all these items inward moment total and also the outward moment total so when we click on moment analysis it is now going to give you inward and outward at the top level now when you click on stock item wise you will see that the total inward from 1st of april 23 to the last day of the financial year this is the total inward of each item and this is the outward of each item so this is another angle in which you can analyze your inventory come back here click on change view and the next one is you can see by ledgers also so when you select by ledger these items from whom all you have made an inward supply and also the outward supply to whom all the inventories have moved out so if you select by ledger you will see this group wise now to view this in detail i'm sure you know it is alt f5 when you click on alt f5 we are going to say that through sundry debtors these are the items the total value which is moved out and this is the moment in now select on sundry debtors and press shift enter it is going to now give you the next level of detailing where it says to amar enterprises for the entire year the total stock that is moved out is 513 numbers and the total value of the outward moment each party wise you are able to view similarly when you come down to sundry creditors and when you press shift enter you will again see from which of the parties the moment inward has happened for the entire stock that you are 
holding as on date so by stock item is going to give you your stock item and this is where you are going to see since we have exploded you are seeing the go down detail also if you don't want to view the go down detail again all you have to do is press alt f5 it is going to hide the go down details let's explore the next one click on change view and this time you can use the aging analysis of the stock also that means whatever stock you have purchased you can now set up an aging analysis or you can configure aging of your inventory based on the periodicity that you want to find out how much of stock that you are holding for how many number of days so let us go and click on aging analysis and by default it is automatically going to give you default aging period which is it says less than 60 days the company is holding 11,84,000 worth of inventory 60 to 90 days 1,20,000 and more than 90 days the company is holding 60,77,000 which means the company has been buying stock but they are not able to sell and the more number of days that the stock is being held in the company that much of working capital is getting blocked so i'm sure we all are aware of this now for some reason if you want to change the aging period according to your requirement you can also do that all you have to do is just click on aging period here and this is the default it says so let's say you want to do 0 to 90 days okay 90 to 180 days or let's say 120 days 120 days and above for you to break this the in the above column it should be zero since it is already zero here all you have to do is just press enter and accept the aging period now you will see that the aging period is changed less than 90 90 to 120 and greater than 120 and based on the aging period you will also notice that the value of inventory is changed it will also give you the negative stock information also let us go back to change view and let's click on summary and click stock item wise we are back here the next one the exceptional report is again very very handy so in this company we are viewing very few item since this is a demo company now if you take a real world environment of any organization on an average they are going to have at least 200 to 300 stock items and some companies have much more stock items it depends on the kind of product that they are dealing in their company now let us say this is the screen visibility area for us now here incidentally the first item the closing balance is showing minus two we are able to quickly identify and then before the company's books of accounts are finalized they have to identify the cause for this negative and rectify it okay now let us say if there are say about 500 or 1000 items it becomes very difficult for the company to now go and check that which are the items which has closing balance as on date which is in negative so instead of browsing through and you know taking longer time to identify it becomes easy for you to use this technique of exceptional report when you click on exceptional report the first option that you have is negative stock item so when you click on negative stock item tally will automatically go and search the entire list of stock item and pull out only those stock item which have negative quantity as on date and give you the list so that it becomes easy for you to quickly go and identify the error and rectify them now under exceptional report we also have sales order outstanding purchase order outstanding which we saw in our earlier video and also you have an option where you can quickly see that what are the items which are below reorder level now again tally has a wonderful feature of setting reorder level for each item and by click of a button tally will tell you which are the items for which the reorder level is reached which means the stock position or the stock balance is lesser than the reorder level and it will also give you the list of those items which are shortfall and for which the orders need to be placed again when i cover the 
order management module we will discuss more about the reorder level and how to set up reorder level and view the net position and the order to be placed report i hope the three options that we explored in the stock summary technique which is the basis of value change view and exceptional report would given you a fair idea of how you can have better grip and analyze your inventory in a better way so that you have more grip on your inventory management system in the upcoming session we will cover more techniques related to stock summary from the other buttons of right side button bar and also we will explore the options related to f12 configure so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much